What's going on folks? Slyer here with uh, Pack Master Dog Training. I uh, wanted to talk about a subject here that I, uh, that I wrote a little something about a while back and it got a, a lot of attention. Most of it was sent to me privately. Not bad, mostly good, but it really uh, piqued a lot of conversation in people. Um, sorry if I'm breathing heavy right now. I just got out of the, the gym trying to get my, my sexy back a little bit. And uh, hey, not to get off topic too, dog trainers. All dog trainers out there, you, you should be working out. You gotta work out, believe me. Um, it, 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 uh, it does a lot for you. You know, it brings you down to a place that makes it a, a lot easier doing what we do, you know. Um, that's why I try to make videos and talk when I come out of the gym, because you come out, it's hard to feel negative. Everything's usually positivity when the endorphins are flowing. All right, that's that for that. But I want to talk to you about something today that I don't really hear anyone talking about. It's uh, dogs and racism. I can't tell you how many times I show up to meet a client. Um, unfortunately, it's always always a white client. I'm going to be very honest here. So if I ruffle any feathers, I really don't care. It's not a bad thing, I'm about to say, believe me. And there's no ill intent behind it that's even a word I don't know I hope so um, if, if not my daughter will tell me dogs and racism I can't tell you and I'm sure other dog trainers get this too they just don't talk about it I can't tell you how many times I show up to a home um, and the people are talking to me and they're trying to feel me out and then they kind of lean in and they want to whisper a little bit and they'll kind of look around and they'll say my dog doesn't like black people I'm like, oh, okay, all right. It's actually pretty common. I hear that a lot, you know, and, 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 and the people say, I, I don't understand why, but they just don't like black people. They go crazy every time I see a black person. I said, okay. I said, well, um, did you socialize your dog when they were young? Well, yeah, you know, we took them out. We took them on walks. We took them to the, the, whole, the whole spiel. Okay. I say, well, did you socialize your dog with any black people? Like, well, um, we don't really know any black people. Okay, did you socialize your dog with Hispanics, Asians, different groups of people? I say, well, no. Okay, and I'm asking these questions to kind of paint a picture, but to, to make the people feel a little little less bad than, than, than what they're feeling. Um, but in reality, it's so common, and, and I have seen it, I have experienced it firsthand, but is the dog reacting to a different race of person? I don't believe so. And that's just me. That's my opinion. Look, there's trainers out there. There's people out there. You know, all you trainers out there, you get questions all the time. People want to know, why does my dog do this? And there are people out there that will answer every question, give you a reason. I don't do that. Because there's a lot of things we just don't freaking know why dogs do what they do. I'm sorry. There's a lot of things I can answer, but we don't know why they do everything they do. Okay? Um, so I've seen it firsthand. And, um, but here's my theory behind this, and I believe this very strongly. I don't think that the dogs respond to different races of people in a negative way. I believe the dog responds to you, the way you're feeling. A lot of people who haven't been exposed to different cultures and different races are very uncomfortable around people of different races. And when you're uncomfortable, that's gonna set your dog off. I don't care what anyone says. Let me give you an example. You guys know my dog, Luca, very well. Very, very strong dog, very strong dog. Anytime we go to do something, if we're traveling, if I'm gonna do a seminar, or we're going to train someplace different where we're gonna be amongst a group of people, Luca gets diarrhea every time. He gets the runs every single time, it doesn't matter. You know why he does? Because I do. I get really, really nervous. I get really worked up, you know. Um, I take that stuff serious and it affects me. I get stressed. I don't want to let people down. I want to always do the best I can. And he feeds off of me, you know. He feeds off of me. Um, it's just like in protection work, you know. Anyone can throw a sleeve on. He doesn't get real excited. Even if you try to antagonize him, he doesn't get real excited. He looks at me. 
and he's looking at my reaction because a real protection dog isn't going to just explode when they see a sleeve my dogs respond off of me if I'm scared if I'm fearful if I'm acting a certain way he's gonna respond the way he's supposed to and you don't really have to even train that okay so when it comes to dogs and racism I don't believe your dog is reacting to a different race of, of, of people especially black people it's always it's always that my dog doesn't like black people well I'm not saying you don't like black people but I think it makes you uncomfortable okay you have some kind of hidden fear or something that makes you uncomfortable that's what sets your dog off all right so you have to get out there and socialize yourself get out in different environments people I was very fortunate to grow up like that all my friends out there on Facebook you know who you are all my Puerto Rican friends my Latin friends my my black friends we were lucky we were lucky growing up where we were we were exposed to everything well guess what so was our dogs you know and and the media doesn't help you know you see you see this crap with you know pit bulls all the time and normally you're gonna see some some bad stuff on the news and on TV and it almost always involves black people owning pit bulls and and it's the inner city and the urban areas and in the projects and bad things happen and then you have Michael Vick that completely you know ruined everything for a lot of people but what you gotta understand people there are a lot of issues with that when it comes to the pit bulls and the urban areas but it's just as bad out in rural America in white rural America you know scum has no race it doesn't discriminate you know scum comes in all colors and and it's really important that you get out there your dog doesn't dislike black people he's just reacting over over your energy you know over how you feel if you're uncomfortable your dog's gonna feel uncomfortable if you get out there and you're just yourself your dog's gonna you know be itself now if your dog responds like an idiot to everybody well then you know there's no discrimination there you just need a dog that's that's well trained but but seriously it's funny you you, you think about it I know other trainers hear this I, I know they do my dog doesn't like black people or my dog doesn't like Hispanics you know it, it's just it's it's really common it's not your dog reacting to another race that's my opinion but I feel very strongly about this your dog is responding to you and your energy and you feeling uncomfortable you know so come on get get out there you know get out there and and uh, put yourself in situations that make you feel a little uneasy and train your dog like that it's gonna do wonders for your dog but more importantly it's gonna do wonders for you it's gonna really help your confidence and show you you know there's there's a lot more out there uh, to expose yourself to especially with all the bullshit going on out here today you know one of the things I love most about dog training is um, man race and politics never come up when I'm training dogs and I have clients from all walks of life all colors all religions all nationalities it never comes up it's not an issue and that is just freaking awesome because I don't have a lot of patience when it comes to talking politics as as a lot of you know okay but your dog's not a racist okay your dog's responding to you so get out there and expose both of you to a new world it's never gonna hurt all right peace Go work out too. Get some exercise. You're gonna feel better. I'm sorry if you see my sweat spots on my on my pepperonis. That's what my daughter calls them pepperonis, my pectorals. Peace.